I walk around this whole I walked around this whole town. Oh my look at all them cones over there. Look at all them cones. That's, I ain't never seen that many cones in one spot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm walking all around here. Checking off the dumpsters as I dive them. See now this right here. It's got a lock on it. I don't mess with that. I ain't touching that. Nope. My daddy used to drive a big rig like this. Yep. Two times bigger than that one. My daddy used to drive one like just like that. Hey, check this out. Look. It's a universe speaking to me right here. It's what's inside that counts. Like the dumpsters. It should say, it's what's inside the dumpster that counts. You see? This, they should just cover that up. I'll throw this away. Oh, there's garbage right here. I'll throw it away. See, you don't want to go in any of these. This one right here, stay away from those. It's just garbage in there. It's nasty. It's disgusting. People are so nice around here. Look at the, oh my God, the universe speaking to me again. Junk removal. More like, whoo, there he goes. Look at him go. I thought he was going to fall. You heard that skid? Junk removal. More like treasure removal. Because I removed the treasures from the dumpsters. You filming all this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. You never know what you're going to find. Let's go find a dumpster. Follow me. I know where they all, all the dumpsters are. Go ahead now. You filming still? Keep filming. They won't let me in this cold anymore. Why? I don't want to talk about it. Actually, stop filming. Hey, I'm Peter Phillims, and I've known Derry for 25 plus years. I went to the same elementary school, John Muir Elementary. I remember kids used to pick on him, including me. I would beat his ass because he would look through the trash for his treasures, which honestly were weird balls of yarn and mixed with soiled milk and little Debbie brownies. Um, He'd try and either sell it to kids or he would show it off to kids, but neither of those things would happen because he would just get his ass beat by all of us. I remember in high school, specifically at the dumpster in the back of um, Alhambra High, he found what he thought was a raccoon hat, but really what it was was an actual raccoon carcass that he wore, I'd say three or four weeks on school campus. And everybody was telling him, you smell, you reek, it's bad. And at that point I was his friend, you know? I would consider him my best friend. And I could not get through to him that he had a dead animal body on his head. That's one thing with Derry, he's unable to really understand when you're telling the truth or when you're lying, he thinks. I've never lied to him in my life. He always thinks it's a joke or I'm joking or lying. Um, but no, he literally reeked. In his early 20s, he got kicked out of Kohl's. He doesn't like to talk about it because it was actually a really, really traumatic event for him and all of the 50 people in that Kohl's that were involved. He showed up and um, tried to commit armed robbery. He held up the entire Kohl's and said, give me all the trash in your pockets. He didn't want money or valuables. He wanted just the stuff that would end up in the trash. And he was trying to, at that point, get it from the source. He kept people hostage for 13 and a half hours. And he went to jail for a very small amount of time. I think it was only two or three weeks for his crime, which you'd think he would have been there longer, but his dad is uh, the DA, so he was able to get off really easy. Derry's messed up. I mean, he's got to stop his ways, and I wish I could help him, but he, you know, we've had a falling out recently, and he's not able to really figure it out. Um, I just hope he doesn't try and live in a dumpster because he has tried several times and um, it's just not equipped to be a house. I wish the best for Derry, you know, and um, 
he knows he can always call me. I'll always love him. It's a pretty nice day today, don't you think? Good day for diving, that's what I say. Someone left their god dang cigarette pack. Smoking's bad, you know that? That's worse than dumpster diving. Almost broke my picker up a thing. And they're, they're, they're real comfortable and they got holes in them and uh... Hey! What is it? I thought I saw a treasure. What? I thought I saw a treasure. Yeah, I got good eyesight. I thought I spotted a treasure. <sighs> it was a stick. I was out here one night, dumpster diving like I do, you know. I found this little video recorder. And someone told me that, you know, maybe I should try vlogging some of my, my journeys and vlogging some of my treasures I find. So I've been using this little thing here to uh, record some of my, my findings and my... Uh, my journeys when I'm walking around town, dumpster diving, and uh, this thing's been, this is probably one of the cooler things I've found besides dumpy. I got these little things that I like to use for me, for myself. I got a little notepad, and I've drawn myself a little map here. I put a little circle where the dumpsters are, and as I, as I dive them, <laughs> I check them off. So I got these ones, got a whole bunch down here. This is where we're at now, right there. I keep this right here, my little fanny pack. On this side, I got, wait till you see this. Kids love this. Someone told me he's a wrestler, and someone told me that his slogan was, you can't see me. And I, I identify with that, because when I'm dumpster diving, I know it's illegal. I know it is, you ain't gotta tell me twice. So when I'm dumpster diving, yep, don't look at that. When I'm dumpster diving, I just think of what John Cena says. You can't see me. I'm not here. You just mind your own business. And he lives right here in my fanny pack. Goes with me everywhere. Show him. Show him his little house. There he goes. On this side. What do I got in here? Oh, a piece of chalk. I got a piece of chalk in there. Well, since we're here, I'll mark this one with an X. Done this one. You filming this? All right, I'm gonna show you my, my the tools that I use when I'm dumpster diving, all right? So I got my gloves, I'm gonna keep my hands clean. I got my little trusty uh, picker-upper tool. Sometimes I do climb in these suckers, but sometimes if I could read something, pick it up like that without having to climb in, that's good. Video camera that I vlog with, water. I got a paintbrush where when I find something in there, maybe it's a little dirty, I brush it off, you know? I brush it off in case it's dirty, you know. Gotta keep them clean. I wash them when I get home. I just wash them in the sink. Sometimes I put them in the dishwasher when I'm washing my dishes. I already showed you my notepad and my fanny pack here. Hi. Oh, we're just filming a little video. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm putting it on the YouTube. Right on. Yeah, have a good one. I guess we're friends now. Well, yeah, that's the stuff that I like to use on my adventures and put it all in my bag put all my findings in here and uh yeah you got any other questions for me no i don't think so okay Harry. well this has been really great yeah thanks for talking to me and hanging out with me let me know if you i could take you dumpster diving sometime just let me know i ain't got a phone so just okay. hang out at the dumpster and i'll show up well I'm going to get going now. It's nice talking to you. You can stop following me. Stand back there. I'll walk away. Because we're done now. All right. Bye. Bye. The thing I was thinking is, 
I'm kind of like a modern day Indiana Jones finding all these treasures. Would beat his ass.